Dogs don't usually eat slugs and snails, but accidents do happen. Today, this accident is a disaster. This snail contains the larval stages of dog lungworm. Once eaten, these parasites can get through the wall of the stomach and go on to mature and reproduce in the pulmonary arteries and heart of the dog. A few weeks later, the newly hatched larvae burst into his lungs. A pet with little energy, a hacking cough and unusual bleeding are all potential signs of this kind of dog lungworm. A trip to the vets can help with diagnosis. Blood tests and faecal sampling can be used to confirm that it is an Angiostrongylus vasorum infection. This disease was first found in just a few hotspots in the UK, but more and more vets are detecting their first cases. Here at the University of Nottingham, we've been asking which treatments vets are choosing. Our initial findings show that a surprising number of vets are prescribing medicines that are unlicensed for this condition. We need to find out why. Timely, well-managed, effective treatments are needed to free a dog from this parasite. We understand that providing an effective and successful treatment to dogs infected with lungworms in your practice is your utmost priority. Please help us understand your prescription choices so we may reduce the threat from this serious disease. Have your say in the future of canine lungworm treatment by following the link in the description.